Uh, problem five, we have a car travels 220 miles in four hours. What is the rate in miles per hour? Well, whenever we have a ratio that compares two different quantities, here we have miles and hour, uh, and hours, that's called a rate. So when I want miles per hour, I mean I want miles in the numerator and hours in the denominator. So I'll take 220 miles and put that over four hours. Now I can take these units and treat them the same as I would fractions. I can put miles over hours and, and treat that separately from the 220 over 4. So let's do that. So this will be 220 over 4 times miles per hour. That way I've got my units separate from my numbers. Now 220 divided by 4, I'll divide 4 into 22. That's 5. And then and then when I do the rest of the division, I end up with another 5. So 55 miles per hour. Now I can write these units a lot of different ways. Let's just abbreviate here. Miles over hours, just like I have right here, or miles per hour, like this with a slash, or I can say miles per hour. All three of these ways to write these units are exactly the same miles over hours, miles slash hours, or miles per hour. In any case, this rate in miles per hour is 55 miles per hour, and I can write this any of these three ways. Now, it starts out as a ratio, and I see I'm comparing two different quantities, so that's why we call it a rate. Let's look at another one. Problem number six, we have a six ounce can of orange juice that costs 68 cents. Give the unit price in cents per ounce. So when I talk about the unit price, that's a special rate where I compare the amount of money it costs to the amount of uh, uh, the amount of the item that I have, in this case a six ounce can of orange juice, it'll be in ounces. So I want to put money on the top because I want cents per ounce, so 48 cents on the top and on the bottom I have six ounces and I'm going to abbreviate ounces with OZ like that. So if I reduce this to lowest terms, 48 divided by 6 is 8 and then let me write this out, cents per ounce. So that is the unit price of that can of orange juice. So if I had a different size can that cost a different amount of money, I could compare its price with this price by taking the same ratio where I had the amount of money it cost and the number of ounces it was, and then reducing it down to lowest terms like this, and I would have the unit price of that uh, orange juice, and it's a good way to compare uh, items in the grocery store. So that's an introductory look at, at ratios and how we change ratios to fractions and special ratios where we have two different quantities we're comparing. Those are called rates and then a special rate called a unit price.